Hi, I'm Kim Garcia, Educational Technology Coordinator. We're pleased to be here today to issue you your teacher iPad. Providing every teacher with an iPad is part of Georgetown ISD's Engage initiative, innovative and effective teaching and learning with technology. Many of our students have mobile devices outside of school. They might have smartphones or tablets like an iPad at home. Using your teacher iPad will help you become familiar with the technologies that are prevalent outside of school and that other school districts are using to engage students and to personalize their learning. The Engage initiative is about more than just your teacher iPad though. In fall 2013, all employees and all secondary students will be able to bring their own technology to school and connect it to the district's wireless network. As also, many campuses have invested in iPads, interactive whiteboard technologies, and laptops over the last year. We hope that all of you will take advantage of these new technologies to engage your students. Hi, I'm Sandy Kendall, Educational Technology Specialist for Georgetown ISD. I want to talk to you a little bit about some policies and procedures we have in place to help make the instructional use of your iPad successful. Prior to attending the session where you're receiving your iPad, you were asked to electronically sign the District iPad Use Agreement. You've also received a hard copy of this agreement during this training. A large portion of the agreement has to do with the appropriate use of an Apple ID on your district-owned iPad. In a few moments, our educational technology staff are going to help you create an Apple ID that is tied to your district email account. Many of you may already own iPhones, iPods, or iPads, or perhaps use iTunes on your computers at home. If you do, you already have a personal Apple ID. It's very, very important for you to never use that personal ID on your district-owned iPad or for you to use your district ID on your personal iPad or personal iTunes on your computer at home. The reason for this is content can get mixed up between your personal and district iTunes accounts and you could wind up in a situation very much like this teacher. In this case, the teacher used a personal account on a school-owned device, and as a result, her students got to see more of her than she probably ever intended. To make matters worse, the students then shared her photo on their Facebook accounts. The only way to keep yourself out of a situation where personal content shows up on a school device is to never use a personal Apple ID on your school-owned device or your GISD Apple ID on a personally-owned device. Another quick note, if you're ever looking around in the settings of your iPad, you may find some profiles that are associated with a software called Meraki. Meraki is the system that the district uses to manage iPads and other wireless devices. It's very important that you never try to remove the Meraki profiles from your iPad. They allow you to access our district wireless and in addition, as a theft deterrent, they allow district technology staff to determine the location of any of our district iPads on a map at any time. Please make yourself familiar with the iPad use agreement. We believe that following the instructions in the agreement will help you be very successful in using your iPad in instruction. If you have any questions at any time about the agreement or about our Meraki system, please feel free to ask us. We'll be happy to discuss it with you. Everyone who receives a GISD iPad will be required to complete iPad basic training for teachers. The training consists of four online modules that take about an hour each. Your total training commitment is about four hours. We recommend that you view the iPad basic training for teachers content on your desktop or your laptop while you also use your iPad to follow the instructions. That will allow you to practice the skills that you're seeing on your computer screen on your iPad at the same time. However, you can use an iPad to watch the videos and to read instructions. If you choose to do that, you'll notice that if you're using your iPad at a GIST campus, you won't be able to see the YouTube videos that we have posted. You'll need to take some steps to bypass the light speed filter. 
I'll demonstrate what to do when using your iPad at a GISD campus so that you can watch the YouTube videos. When you're on a page, you'll notice that the video is missing. You'll see in the middle of the page there's a link that says click here. On your iPad, tap on that link. A new window opens in your web browser. You'll see that you get a blocked screen. In the top left corner, tap Not You. Now, log in with your GISD computer username and password. And tap Browse the Web. Now you've bypassed the light speed filter. You can close that tab by tapping the X at the top of the screen. That takes you back to the page where your YouTube video is located. Refresh the screen by tapping the arrow in the address bar, and now your YouTube videos will appear. You'll need to follow these steps every time you want to use your iPad to watch YouTube videos while you're at a GISD campus. The Educational Technology Team will continue to provide you training and support on using your teacher iPad throughout the school year. We are excited about the potential an iPad brings to your personal learning and to your classroom. We can't wait to hear about the innovative ways you'll be integrating your iPad into teaching and learning.